all of you about um, the um, employability and employment um, you know, opportunities with an ACCA qualification. So on to you, Ivan. Hi, Evelyn. Good morning. Hi, Jean. Hi, Chilong. Nice to see everyone. Okay, good morning, guys. Uh, hopefully, everyone of you are awake. Um, it's, uh, I, I know it's a morning. Uh, it's early morning for everyone. Uh, let me show my screen. Um, so today, I will be talking about ACCA, um, how ACCA can help you in terms of your career, okay? Uh, before I start, can you see my slide? If yes, just give me a thumbs up so that I can uh, go ahead. Very good, yes. So um, what is ACC? I think I did talk about uh, ACC the last few days, the session. Hopefully, there's news to that. But uh, I will go through again quickly what is all ACC about. Uh, so ACC, we are the world's most forward-thinking professional accountancy body. Okay, we want a lot of innovative award and of course, uh, our syllabus are very up to date, okay, yearly. And uh, our slogan here, uh, think ahead. Why think ahead? That means we see the future. Do you think that you want something that, you know, can see your future, whether you will be ready for your future career? So it's something that maybe for students, you want to think about your future career. So ACC, I think a lot of you know about ACC, but what's the full name of ACC? We are the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. We are from UK, okay? We are the global body for professional accountants. So what we do, we offering a business relevant qualification, uh, first choice qualification to people of application, uh, ability and ambition around the world uh, who seek rewarding career in accountancy, finance and management. So to cut short everything, ACC is a one whole bundle that you will learn everything from audit, taxation, finance, management or law and it's all related to a business world environment in fact our paper um, the last four papers the strategic papers will make students to think harder as a ceo or as cfo or even a, a top uh, 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 management uh, person in their company so it will help into your decision making and all day so uh, this is acca so i'll just quickly run through six reasons why you should join ACCA. This is a six scheme reason. Of course, flexibility, okay, you, is, is, you can do full-time or part-time uh, courses. Second is recognition. ACC, no matter where you go, you can ask your parents, you can ask your teachers what ACC, they will let you know. Third is relevance. What you study today, is it relevant for the future? For global presence, we are in 180 countries worldwide. Size, we are the largest professional body in the world. And of course, very important here today, the support. That's why today, uh, thanks so much, uh, Samway Test, for having me here today. So Samway Test will be here to support your journey as a student. And very important that students are supported in your uh, uh, studies in ACCA. So um, just to give you some highlight, uh, in Malaysia, we are shortage of accountant, not only in Malaysia, but overseas also, okay? In Malaysia, we need to achieve at least 60,000 professional accountant by year 2030, okay? In uh, Australia also, almost the same. Uh, in, in, in China, I heard they need to have at least 1 million uh, chartered accountant also. So every nation have their own uh, shortage of accountant, and that's why I say it's very rewarding career. But in Malaysia, so far, we have less than 38,000 uh, uh, from the Statistics Malaysia uh, Institute of Accountant. So many of you are asking, what is the career of accountant? I know accountant is very boring word, right? Accountant, okay? Accountant, that means uh, it's always, you know, the, the mindset that you are be working uh, in front of the laptop, you know, do paperwork and so on. But nowadays, I know a lot of accountants, they are very... Uh, uh, very entrepreneur, they are, they are business-minded person, they are going anywhere, you know, they are dealing, I have friends who are traveling, uh, 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 okay, now because of COVID, they can't travel, but their work, their job is to manage a company around Southeast Asia, okay, I have friends who are working in US now, okay, although, you know, ACC is not so popular in US, but they are working with the ACC qualification, they are working with, with US, so um, don't, don't, don't be worried about your future here because the career prospects are huge. Okay, This is a job that I think um, you want to consider that many of our members, 
they are working. Okay, I, I think you heard before auditor. Auditor also, there's two types of auditor. There are external auditor, internal auditor, accountant also. Okay, for accountant, if you really uh, go through uh, specifically the detail part, there's a uh, forensic accountant, there's financial accountant, there's management accountant, there's group accountant. So depending on the company, they have different types of role. Okay, the job there might be specific and depending on uh, the structure of the company, uh, you'll be doing very focused job or even a wide job. Of course, a smaller business, we're talking about SME, small, medium enterprises. Sometimes you talk about accountant, you, do, you will be doing everything. But in the bigger company, of course, uh, they will be doing different, different role. Okay, and you check um, 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 the next slide. This uh, is among the, uh, the top, 15 or 20 that uh, in Malaysia, all our ACC members, they are in, in the position in their career. I think you guys know about CEO, you know, they are the managing company, but they are also uh, uh, ACC member. They are, uh, we have CFO, a lot of director partner, partner in the accounting firm that's, uh, you know, uh, it, they, are, they are working as a director in multinational corporation. Uh, some is AG, uh, majority of our accountant uh, here, um, uh, they are business, okay, business owner, okay. Uh, some are doing forensic accountant, internal audit, and so on. So if the job of the accountant here, you know, is very, very flexible, do not think about, you know, accountant as a name itself, but, okay, in the career future, you know, it depending on your expertise also and your interest, uh, believe me, uh, uh, the, the future career is very bright because there's so many opportunities for you to explore okay many of the students will ask me okay well let's I, I do not know whether should I join uh, I think this is a previous question whether should I go in audit audit or should I go in a corporate company so it's up to you end of day corporate of course you will start early you jump up you know you start your career you go up and up, up uh, depending on your seniority but you go to audit okay once you go to audit you will learn a lot of industry Okay, in fact, yesterday I met a, a, a accountant from PwC. Okay, uh, in fact, in uh, you know, in five days week, you'll be doing maybe three portfolio at the same time or even more. Okay, different, maybe uh, talking about plantation, talking about uh, property, talking about uh, science, okay, multinational corporation. So you will be explored different, different type of portfolio. NOD will help you in terms of decision making whether you should go, you know, you should explore in different segments. So it's up to you actually. But of course, my best advice is uh, work in the big four or, or work in our ACC approved uh, employer program because that, okay, you will be exposed. Your three years working experience are very, very important. Okay, I believe you, you guys know is. Once you completed your ACC, you need to have at least three years of working experience to, you know, to gather, to, uh, to compile and meet all the objectives in, uh, in the ACC, uh, my experience uh, uh, part. So this is, that I just want to share quickly uh, employers' expectation. Okay, employers here, they are very choosy. Okay, they want the right talent with the right job. Okay, sometimes, you know, uh, there's so many applications, you know, so many applicants, you know, from degree, from diploma, okay, what makes stand out for you if you are a ACCA student or ACCA member? Of course, if you are, you are qualified uh, member, you are, you know, you have an ACCA, of course, you know, employer expectation is, okay, you are ACCA graduate, okay, you meet all the expectation. I know that you can do the job, my trust they are very high compared with those uh, with the degree as well. Because ACCA, okay, for you to complete ACA is not, not easy. But, okay, the, the, uh, the technical little part, the, the, what you study in ACA really matters out there. Okay, so you can see what employees want besides having strong written communication skill, you know, some uh, soft skill like Excel, PowerPoint, that's fine. But you can see on the blue color tab, qualify as a professional accountant. This is very, very important for you. Your future career is very stable there. So just to share with you, okay, some of the, you know, uh, statistics, I, I believe you want to know how much accountants are earning. It's not from 
ACCA, not from Subway Test, is from a, a, a job recruiter company, okay, for Robert Water. So this is uh, what they come out uh, every year, okay, how much is the salary per annum per year. Of course, this is just average, it could be more, it could be less, depending from uh, industry, okay, depending on industry. Of course, now situation because of COVID, okay, the, 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 the salary will be different a bit but it's almost the same, the average. You can see it's very prominent, very, uh, if, if I were you, I would quickly join this, this program because of uh, you know, the, the salary that you will earn uh, end or day and so on. So some of the role model I quickly go through. Um, I believe role model will help you to you know, motivate yourself. Uh, and, and of course, with the role model, you will maybe want to do some Google search, how they, how they uh, you know, uh, uh, what they are today because of the past experience and of course the qualification. So all these members, they are ACC members and they are top, top position now. Okay, maybe everyone know Asia, the founder of Asia, Tansri Tony Fernandez, uh, who are currently the group CEO of Asia. Okay, very entrepreneur, keep having um, a business minded. We also have uh, from Sandabi, Dato Tong, former executive director, group CFO, Okay, you can see the position very, very high, senior management. We have Maybank, uh, Dato Muhammad Rafiq, American Group CEO. CEO. Say, uh, we also have um, uh, Ms. Sharon Sang, uh, working in Padini, Executive Director at Group CFO. And of course, um, we also have uh, Dato Ahmad Fawad Kenali, uh, currently uh, President of Group CEO. Before he joined, he did join UMW. Uh, before that, uh, he was the CEO of Malacca. Before he joined Malakov, Malakov is an energy company, but before he, he joined Malakov, he was the CEO of Proton. Okay. Uh, before he joined the CEO of Proton, he was the CFO of uh, DRB Highcom. You can see the step, the position. Once you are the C-suite level, you're always there. In fact, you know, it's always up. You won't go down. And, and of course, you're talking about salary. Do you think salary still go down or go up? Your choice. So it's uh, their future are very bright and you know, if they can do it, why not you? Ask yourself this. So that's all for my session. Um, if you want to know more about ACCA, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, email me or best just WhatsApp me uh, at 012-380-9775. Make sure uh, the WhatsApp profile is uh, this guy. So uh, is you, you, you are speaking the right, uh, uh Ivan then. All right. That's all for my session. I pass this session back to Evelyn. Thank you so much of having me here. Yep. Uh, thank you, Ivan. Yeah, thanks for the uh, insights. So uh, now we move on to the next segment of the session, okay, which will be a sharing from Miss Jean for your uh, no experience. Because uh, actually, Gina, uh, she's our lecturer in Sunway. She's actually teaching the ACCA um, paper. So I believe most of you, um, either our own student who has registered, or uh, those who are planning to register in Sunway, this is actually chance for you to you know meet your lecturer before you join the program. All right, so um, now I'll uh, pass the session on to uh, Jean to do your sharing on your experiences. Okay, hi, hi. thank you, Evelyn. Hi, hi everyone. Um, pardon my um voice call today, having a bit of a sore throat right here. So um just coming in to just share with you guys on uh, what the ACC qualification is about and why should you enroll actually in this FIA program, right? So a very brief introduction about myself. Uh I was probably like you guys sometime back when I you were young, right? We were all young ones, you know, many, many years back, I was 18 years old, like you guys came in, didn't know what to do, right? So because my mom asked me, what, what do you want to do? So my mom asked me this question, I was like, um, I want to be a psychologist. That's, that's what, that was what was in my mind. But my, my mom told me no, then she gave me two options, right? So there was a lawyer and, or an AC. So I was like thinking, what was this? So a, a bit of background, I was a pure science student. Um, being a pure science student pretty much meant that I have zero idea on what an ACCA is. So I was like, ACCA? What was 
ACCA. So I one briefly just bring you through was uh, just an accountancy. Then I was like, huh, you want a pure science student to go into accountancy. So it was a, a pretty huge shock to me. So it was two options. Like, so it was pretty much law and also ACCA. So I asked my mom this question again. So which one do you graduate the fastest? <laughs> so quite legit, right? Like, you know, because it is doing something that, you know, <laughs> you don't know what to do, but you know that's the best the, the parents can give you. So which one graduate fastest? My mom told me, you know, law was four years and ACCA is three years. So of course, you know, I'm just going to take out the shortest one possible, isn't it, <laughs> right? So I took out ACCA, right? And um, after which the rest is history, really. So as you actually look back into the past, it's um, something that, a qualification that you take that you will never ever regret in your life, right? So um, what do you mean by you never ever regret? Because your potential in this field is almost unlimited, right? So what do you mean by unlimited example, yeah? So when I first graduate, everyone told me, Jean, you have to be an accountant, an auditor first, right? So everyone would tell me, Jean, go into the audit field, go into uh, internal auditor or external auditor first. So people tell me, you never try, you never know, right? You're going to try Dulu then Hari Hari Mount. So it is something that your everyone will tell you to try to do this, yeah? So I tried entering into the audit field for a bit. So I was in Ernst and Yang for a while. So, <laughs> but I, I will just put it this way that uh, it's not for everyone because everyone has very different characteristics. Most of my friends still now are still in the audit field, but uh, myself, I, I couldn't see myself there because of the difference in the characteristics. I'm a bit chatty. I'm a very, very people person. So pretty much what happened was I joined investment banking thereafter. Right. So from audit, I jumped into the CMB investment banking field. So I was in investment banking for quite a bit. Uh, then I went into training because I actually found a passion. So I was like wondering, you know, what do I do now? Um, after a certain period where you obtain your ACA qualification, your ACA membership. Oh, by the way, um, something that I need to let you guys know of this is Effectively, you do not need to always be in an audit firm to get your ACCA membership. Even if joining a bank or any ACCA approved employers, you are able to obtain your ACCA chartered accountancy, your ACCA membership. So it doesn't always need to be in audit. Right. So I think this is a misconception that people have there. Can I get my ACCA membership outside? Yeah, your answer is yes. So you still can get. So I'm able to obtain my membership from my experiences back in the banking days, right? So after that, I was like thinking, you know, what do I do? What do I go next? So I'm looking for a passion that fills me already. So uh, while I was looking for training industries, a friend of mine just approached me, Jin, since you're looking for training, why not lecturing? So I came in into lecturing and yeah, I'm here ever since then. So I'm doing the FR paper in ACCA and I'm also doing ACCA SBR paper as well, right? So um, pretty much I'm doing both papers, yeah. So yes, you, you, you have to actually work like three years of uh, any from, from any approved employees to get your ACC membership. So yeah, so I have the ACC membership and in the middle I was doing OBU, I have an OBU degree and upon which I was also doing my master's in professional accountancy. So um, this professional accountancy was also an ACC affiliated master's. So you can do it within a year as well and you'll be able to obtain a reputable master's that was awarded by uh, UOL that's in partnership with UCL in London, yeah. And um, also I took out NLP, so I was also an NLP practitioner at this juncture, right? So all these past experiences, as you can see, it is very different from whatever that uh, you guys heard outside. You must be an accountant, you must be an auditor. So your, your, your future, your potential is almost unlimited, yeah. So how does all these experiences help me in uh, my industrial experience? How does it help me in today's world? Well, if I can tell you stories in class and let you learn, what say you? So pretty much like students love my lectures. It's just not because that I'm a good lecturer because I share a lot of stories, a lot of uh, real life stories because students love best when they can actually relate. So all these invaluable experience that I got from my EY days, my CMB investment thing days, so I actually share them. So the syllabus that I was teaching and was taught in class is actually a very interesting one. It's like stories about real life on how it works in the future. So it's like in every industry, there'll be like some models of Prandi going on. So when I tell them stories that, oh yeah, I can relate to this, I can relate to that, I can relate to this, I can relate to that. Then the syllabus automatically becomes very, very easy. 
So it allows all of you guys have a kick into the working world first without even going out yet. So it's quite interesting on how these past experiences can help me. Yeah. So um, the another question that people always ask me is, can a student with no accounting background study ACCA? Yep, I'm one example. And in fact, most of my students, um, if I'm not, I, I don't want to put a percentage on it. Most of them are without accounting background. When they came in, they are probably fresh like me. They don't know what to do. But however, they want a very bright future. Because at 18 years old, I told my mom, I just want money. <laughs> As in, I, I don't want to, but I want money. So my mama asked me, you know, you want money. So you have to go into something that you can learn about money, right? So I told her, yes, yes, I want to, I want, I want to earn a lot of money in the future. Yeah. So <laughs> this is one qualification that helps a lot in that. Like I think how Ivan shared it just now, your annual salary effectively could be up to, I don't know, for a start is probably three, four, five K. And then by 26, 27 years old, you're earning around 10 K already. By the time that you jump in another company, by the time that you reach 30 years old, it's about 15, 17, 18K already. By the time that you jump to 35 years old, you're probably getting 20 over 1,000 uh, yeah, already. So you ask me, is the money there? The money is definitely there if you want it, like, you know. But you, of course, you have to work very hard. Like. So students without accounting background, is it very, very tough for you to take on ACC or not? Um, no, it's not. Because as long as you set your intention right, and as long as your consistency is there, yeah. So it is never too tough to actually start something. What do you mean by consistency is there? Example, there's always two breed of students that I always have. The super smart ones and the super hardworking ones. What do you mean by super smart ones? In fact, right, the super smart ones doesn't always get the best result. Why? Because they're very smart, right? So if they're very smart, right, they tend to be slightly lazier. So being very smart, but a little bit lazy without consistency, right? the memory retention is not there. So it's like, hey, I know this. So you can understand in two minutes, but however, after you go home, if you don't recap, right? Bye-bye, your short-term memory is only there for eight hours. Then the next day is not there anymore. So being smart in ACC doesn't help that much. It helps in understanding very quickly. But if you don't recall, if the consistency is not there to study, you understand that, well, you, will still, you, you might accidentally not excel so far. Right? If you might not be able to push yourself so far. But if you are very hardworking, very consistent, then this paper, very, very doable. In a manner where even I'm teaching one of the hardest paper in ACCA, which is the paper SPR. One of the hardest paper, which means the most difficult to apply in the real life, right? But um, if you ask me, very doable. Because the students who are very, very hardworking, the, the world price, the simulation price, and all the passing rate in my paper is actually pretty high, 60-70%. As compared to the world pass rate that you see is maybe 30-40%. So Summit Test has this ability to bring the students up uh, in a manner that we know where to teach you and how to excel in our papers. Lah. So pretty much if you ask me, Jin, no ACC background, okay or not? Well, a lot of living proof out there that is definitely very, very doable. It's just three years. You have to just go through that very quick three years. You can join activities in class as well. So there's a lot of Curricular activities that you can learn and, and join in the campus as well. While you are enjoying your life, you're also learning together as well, right? So I think for the FIA program that you're coming in, you actually have a very quick coverage already on uh, the basic papers that you're going to go into ACCA. And it is actually an accelerated program. So as compared to you going to AJ, hey, why not I take a degree first, then only I do ACCA. Um, well, if you want to take a degree first, then only do ACCA. A degree will cost you four years, really. And if a quick degree is three and a half years, right? One more year of ACCA will cost you approximately five years, right? Five years. Normal degree is four years because one year foundation, three year degree, right? Or one year foundation, two and a half years degree or two year degree. So it's, it's three plus one, four or five years. But if you join this FIA program, effectively it's only one year for the foundations and two years for the ACCA program. So all in all, it is just three years. Yeah. So it is one of the fastest programs. So most of us graduate at 21 years old. So all of us will just come out 21 years old and we are super fresh. And you realize that while you are 21 years old, you started working already and you're earning like 3,000 plus per month. So imagine 3,000 plus per month, right? You go out, mama, with your friends. Your friends are just joining uni first year. You go out and you can tell them, 
Never mind, this trip on me. I earn money already. 3,000, no problem. I belanja. I give you a trip. Uh, you, you have the kind of confidence from young already. So as compared to your friends who just graduate, probably at 23, 24 years old, you are an early bloomer. So you earn much more, much more money as compared to your friends that's really out there doing slowly the degree. And when they graduate at 23, 24 years old, they are only having degree, but you are already having a professional qualification. I think that is what matters and that's what helps a lot in your career progression in the future. Yeah. All right, I think that's about all that I would want or love to tell you. Anything that you guys would love to ask me, like anything that you want to ask me, I'll be available to take on your questions. Come. Uh, you want to know how tough ACCA paper is because you heard a lot of people say ACCA paper is the toughest out there. Well, um, it depends on the level of efforts and consistency that you put out there. So example, right? Example. So example. So let's say for instance, ACC paper is a lover of yours. You like this guy very much or you like this girl very much, right? So you really want to have this girl or this guy as your boyfriend or girlfriend. So in order to go there, to reach there, right? You have to put in some efforts. So you have to send flowers to her, you know, send chocolates to her. You have to put in all the efforts so that that party will feel the love agreed right? Same thing goes for ACC. So if you just want to stay back and not study and not do anything and just trying to sell me, Ajit, I'm smart, I can pass ACC. It doesn't work that way. Because effectively, the consistency and efforts, your intention to pass is very important. The mindset to pass is very important. ACC is about the mindset game where I want to pass this paper. I will have to take, you see, an example, your goal is here. I will have to take steps to get there. And what are the steps? The steps is your effort to attend class, revise consistently every single day, right? So that your memory retention is there because the syllabus is going very quick. But what happened was this, because everyone study this stack of books man, in a matter of four years, but we study it in the fact of three years. So if you shorten the time, but same materials that you have to study, which means your consistency has to be there. So which means every three months while you have exams, you have to be consistent. Long. So I study very hard for three months, then rest for a while. Very hard for three months, then rest for a while. So while you study with a lot of efforts in these three months, whatever tough paper, right? It is only tough if you don't study. If you actually put in the efforts and your intentions are right to pass, I really want to pass this paper with the efforts and hard work is very, very doable. So if you ask me, very tough? Mm, not really. Your lecturers are out there like me. I told my students, my mission here is to make this paper very easy for you. But the rest is your work to pick up really. What do you mean by the rest is your work to pick up? Effectively is the hard work. You have to do your part one because I can put in 100%, but if you don't work on your part, it doesn't work anymore. Understand? Because it's a relationship. Ah. <laughs> Correct. Right? So you, you have to be a both side kind of thing where you work with each other. Understand? Okay. I hope that answers, Yizin. Any more questions from the floor? Like, is there anything that you feel like asking? Is there a little bit of queries that... Uh, no problem. Is there any, a bit of queries that you felt like asking? Anything at all? No. <laughs> so I guess most of you guys were pretty much from the form fives now and this, or probably just finished SPM waiting for results, right? Um, but I can tell you this, this is uh, one qualification that you never regret. <laughs> Why? Uh, because you understand that for me, right? It wasn't a choice. It is something that was determined by the parents. A lot of my students came in and tell me, oh, this one is something that I choose myself, right? That I was put out by my mom. So effectively, right? People ask me, Jin, do you regret taking ACCA? My answer is a uh, no, a very big no. I, I didn't regret this decision that was made by my mom because effectively, yes, you can go anywhere and everywhere. So if you ask me today, where, where are my friends scattered all around the world? Are you able to work overseas? Your answer is yes. You can go to Singapore. Most of my friends, in fact, is in Singapore. Upon graduation, right, I think half of my classroom classmates, yeah, boom, fly to Singapore already, man, because of the currency that you can earn there and the potential that you can grow from there. And while they are working in Singapore, some of them, some of my friends in Malaysia started in the audit, audit firms in Malaysia first. And then slowly when they started off, they started to be seconded into overseas. 
So I have some in Australia. I have some friends in Australia. I have some friends in the UK. I have some friends in the European countries. But what is different effectively is because every single country have their own regulations. So maybe if you go there already, so maybe there's another one or two more papers that you have to take to qualify to sign off their accounts in that, that country. So let's say, for instance, Malaysia has MIA, right? So they're the qualification body that sign off accounts, right? So if you go to Singapore, you'll probably have to take like one more, one or two more papers, which is if you do ACCA, right? Any paper out there is quite easy, anyway. <laughs> I'm serious. Like after I did my ACCA, right? Well, I do my master's, it's very easy, right? So if you go and do other first CPA in other countries, it's very, very doable. So if you want to go to Singapore, you can anytime. In fact, in this year, three months alone, I have more than 10 students who's asking me for reference to go to Singapore, which means they want to put my name in their resume, right? So, Jit, can I put your name in resume? I ask them where you're going. They're going to Singapore. So, in fact, all of that 10, eight of them managed to secure a job in Singapore and they are starting either in May or July and all big fours. So, if you ask me, how's your potential in times like this during the pandemic? I can tell you still unlimited. So, people tell you they secure a job in Singapore during COVID. You'd be quite surprised, right? But people are hiring. So it's quite tough to enter Singapore. No, no, not for ACCA students. For ACCA students, it's quite easy because it's a professional qualification. So Isabel, I hope that answers. If you could work overseas, your answer is a yes, yes. Um, Singapore, anywhere. In fact, anywhere. I have friends in Australia, UK, US, not so. European and also Singapore, everywhere. <laughs> okay. All right, any more questions from the floor? Don't, 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 don't be shy, you know, just, just any questions, I will be glad to answer, right? Anything from the floor? Because if there's only one reason that you cannot do ACC, it's because you are lazy. Only one reason. <laughs> I'm very serious. Because a lot of students feel, right, if you were to realize, it's not because they are stupid, right? Because to me, right, I don't, I don't believe anyone is stupid in this world. If you actually feel ACC, it's just because you are lazy. I, very honest answer to most of you guys. If you can do ACC or not, it's just because of laziness. But if you can buck up and put in the assets, ACC is very, very doable. Okay. Can I? All right, any more from the floor? Like, feel free to ask any questions related or unrelated to whatever that I'm talking or speaking over here. Feel free. Anyone? Everyone is good. All right. If everyone is good, I think I'll pass the floor back to either if they not you know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jean. So actually, um, yeah, that the sharing is actually also very insightful, even to me also. There are a lot of things that I've actually learned from this, you know, about like students and so on. So um honestly, all of you um I think uh, for this actually very unique session whereby you can listen to what Jean has shared, you know, about um, students' progression in the program and then know why is this um, suitable for actually everyone. It's just really up to whether you want to take up this program and how you want to put in your effort, you know, to progress into this ACCA program, you know. So um, now I just want to do a recap, you know, for those students over here to have joined. Uh, I think most of you have already came for the session um, on Thursday. So today we want to give you just a recap again, you know, on the uh, progression for those who are looking to um, continue and to register into the course. Yeah. Okay. So again, this is the ACCA Foundation Accountancy Program. And this is the pathway for those who come from SPM. You have to join us uh, with a minimum five credits, including your English and mathematics. So when you progress, you will start in the ACCA FIA Foundation Accountancy for one year. And in this one year, you will take up uh, seven uh, external subjects and then two college papers. Later on, I will show you what are these subjects. And then you will find out, you know, why an ACC qualified member can be so flexible that they go into any type of and uh, like career opportunities. 
So for those who finish ACC FIA, then they move on into ACC program, and then they only have to complete for another two more years for another 10 subjects. So in actuality, ACCA, it has a total 13 papers. But if you come from the ACCA path, you will get some exemptions. So instead of 13, you only have to study for 10 more subjects and we also shorten your duration. And once you complete the uh, exam, there comes a second part whereby you have to go out and gain the relevant working experience. And as uh, Miss Jean and then um, as Ivan has also shared with you, this working experience do not necessarily have to be gained in an accounting um, audit firm. If you have desire, you know, to go into like banking or finance advisory, you know, you are always welcome to go into those type of um, field and industry because so long as it's still relevant to what you study in your ACCA, that three years is workable for you. And later on, after you have, you know, clocked in your three years of working experience, and that's where you will get your ACCA qualification. And then when you want to practice it in uh, Malaysia, you have to register under the Malaysia Institute of Accountants, and then uh, they will award you the Charter Accountant uh, qualification. Then you can practice here um, as a professional. So this is the very direct pathway, you know, from ACCFIA, ACCA, and then working, and that's where you move up to become a MIA member. So um, just now also Ms. Jean has mentioned that uh, there are some other options whereby you can take up a degree and so on. But when you look at the comparison, okay, nowadays, uh, nowadays the new trend is that it's better for students to directly take up the ACCFIA and then you move on into ACCA after your SBM because now this path is faster, okay? And then straight away, you get a professional, um, you know, it's a world, worldwide recognized qualification instead of you going through a degree that will cost you more and then also you take a longer time to move there. And then also in terms of employ employment-wise, uh, okay, ACCA would also be... Um, it's a lot. It's a lot better like, in comparison to just holding a degree. Why? Because ACCA is globally recognized. Whichever country that you go to, you know, everyone sits for the same syllabus. They study for the same thing. Okay, that's why if you let's say you go to Singapore, you tell people that oh, you are an ACCA, they would know what is an ACCA. They would know. But let's say if you take just a degree and you stop there. And then you go out, maybe you go to Singapore and you tell people, oh, I come from this, this, this particular institution and I have this degree. So to some countries, you know, especially maybe in the Western area, like in Europe, they might not even recognize your university, you know. So to them, you know, um, this is a degree from this university, but how recognized is this qualification? Yeah, so there will come this um, type of question from the employer and then it may reduce your chances of being employed. That's why at the end, degree students, even after they finish, you know, the tough four years of study, they still have to add on an ACCA later, which again still prolongs their study duration and they still can't go out to work. So that's why um, this degree path, okay, for any of the students here, if you know some of your parents are still telling you to take a degree or need to join uh, ACCA, you can tell them this, you can relay this info to them that nowadays this is a new trend that they can straight away start from ACCA FIA, then they move on to ACCA. You don't have to necessarily take up a degree before you start ACCA. Yeah, they, they definitely have their concern because in the past, Okay, in your parents' years, uh, it's already very difficult to have a degree, to get a degree. So, um, but nowadays, uh, this, is, this degree path is like a traditional thinking. Okay, nowadays, everyone focuses on professional qualification, which are like ACCA. This is a, a qualification. So, you can imagine, you see, uh, in this third year, ACCA students, they are, they've already completed their study and they've already started working. Whereas at this point, degree students are still in their third year studying, while ACCA students have already gained one year in working. So let's just imagine if their starting salary, let's say it's 3K. La. So in that one year, 3K, 3 times 12, uh, you have already been earning up to 36K. 
Whereas degree students, they are still spending 36K for their study. <laughs> okay, so this is a very good comparison already that, you know, ACC now is um, a better option uh, if you want to, you know, move on into the next step in your life, which is the working life um, faster. And yeah, so this is the outline of what you are actually going to study in ACCA. So this is the ACC FIA outline. Total of nine papers. These are the uh, seven, seven external subjects. And then later on, you pass with the two college subjects. So as you can see, you know, you don't just learn accounting. There are also other knowledge like management, finance, and then you also learn about like business. So that's why um, students who finish all these ACCA course, uh, when they come out, you know, they do not just have to be restricted to accountancy. It can also, you can also venture into finance, business, banking, because from the start, the moment you join this program, you are definitely already equipped with all this knowledge. And uh, good news, for those students who come from uh, SPM, if you do take up the principal account, then, if you score an A later on for your SPM, you can actually get exempted for the exam. So instead of sitting for the um, seven external, you only have to sit for six external. So good news, huh? Ah, and then once you finish ACCA FIA, when you move on ACCA, that's not I mentioned, right? You are supposedly uh, have to take all the 13 papers. But if you come from ACCA FIA, you do not need to take the first three paper. This first three papers actually already, you have studied for it in ACCA FIA. So you just start from applied skills and then later you move out to professional. So same thing here, you know, the knowledge is not just about accountancy. You learn about business, you learn about management, tax, finance, audit. And then as you move on to professional, also it's a combination of business papers and then of finance papers and so on. So the subject um, that Miss Jean teaches is actually in the professional level, uh, one of the hardest paper here. Okay. So uh, scholarships. Uh, those who actually joining, those who join this uh, live right now, if you have already applied for the Sunway Special Scholarship, we just want to remind you that if you want to take up the April intake, the classes are starting on 5th April, which is next Monday. If you want to use your special scholarship to apply for April intake, please uh, register by this weekend, okay? By this weekend, because the classes starts on Monday. Otherwise, uh, then you will have time until the 12th of April to apply for the July intake. For those students uh, who are looking to other options for scholarships, okay, the next one, we have to uh, refer to your actual SPM results. If you score an 8A in your SPM, you can apply for this Global Leader Scholarship. So this uh, scholarship actually covers the uh, full tuition fee for ACCA FIA and then also the exam fees. And then uh, when you move on to ACCA, we cover your first year exam fees. Roughly, uh, this scholarship is uh, worth about 24,000 ringgit, okay? And for those students who, um, if you do score a 3A and above, up to 7A, you can also apply for the entrance scholarship. So starting from 3As, we actually give you a, a scholarship of 2,000 ringgit. And then for every A that you get, we increase 1,000 to the scholarship. So you see, uh, we understand you all have a lot of options, you know, to um, pursue this program in a lot of institution. But you also have to, you know, make a very smart choice because when you, um, when you compare institution, you should actually look at, you know, how credible or what are the passing rate for all these type of institution. In, um, it's for ACCA, la, for ACCA tuition providers, they're actually divided into categories. There's a bronze, silver, gold, and platinum category uh, institutions. So um, all of this is, you know, uh, awarded to all these institutions based on their passing rate and then how well they do. And then, you know, what's the, basically, basically how good are they, you know, in offering this program. And then also in terms of the student quality. So Sunway, we are actually, um, 
awarded the highest la, highest status, which is a platinum status. This was since 2003 already. And then until this year, for 18 years, la, consecutively, we have maintained the platinum status. Which means uh, since 20, 2003 until now, 2021, our passing rate, our student quality and everything has never dropped below any rates. All right. Our passing rate has been very steady. And then every year, every sitting, we have been producing all these world prize winners. Uh, all this actually um, stands for all these students getting the highest mark for that exam paper, either in the world or in Malaysia, compared to the whole Malaysia. So you can see, you know, uh, when you choose institution, you choose one that um, would can ensure la, and can actually help you in your study and can make, make like confirm to help you to pass for all your papers. Uh, this is what's important when you decide on what uh, institution that you should choose. All right. So definitely Sunway, uh, we actually the best in the Malaysia already. La. We are the one that has been holding on this platinum status for the longest in the whole of Malaysia. And we are considered as a pioneer la, for this platinum level. Okay, even our world prize winner, nobody can beat us in this number. We have the most in Malaysia as well. Okay, so these are um, some, you know, um, records uh, of our student achievements. This is just very recently, the latest one, whereby we actually uh, have our three students, we sapu all the top three in Malaysia. So uh, for all the best students in Malaysia, three of them, Top one, two, and three is all from Sunway Test. So you can see for the first one, actually, she ranked the first in Malaysia. And for all her average marks for ACC paper, she scored 74%. So all her grades are actually very well maintained. All right. So when you join us over here, you know, it's uh, really not just about studying, but also about, you know, maintaining a uh, very balanced balance type of um, style, uh, for balance uh, student lifestyle, you see. So that's why for students, when they join this program, on top of just studying, uh, we also actually encourage them to join competitions. All these, uh, you see all these students at the bottom here, like Tina, Tina, Tina and Aaron Tan. Actually, all of them, uh, they have this desire that they want to join a competition. And uh, when they tell us what we really do is we actually just give them more support. You know, the lecturer will assist them. And then at the end, uh, they really made it. They really made it to, you know, becoming like um, runner up and then the champion in the ASEAN region and so on. So actually, we, would, we do assist students, you know, if you have this desire, you want to become the top of the world, you know, you, you still have to put in your effort. By the end, lecturer, all this, we definitely give you our best support to make sure that you can reach all these goals that you want. And then also we have really a lot of support for students because at the end, when you want to get employed, you know, uh, they don't just look at your grades. They also look at, you know, your soft skills. So Sunway here, uh, why we are the best is that we also offer all of this um, skill development that you cannot find elsewhere, like global audit simulation. We actually uh, run this program whereby we put students into uh, experiential learning, hands-on learning for one week, where they pretend as an auditor and then they have to complete some audit work. And then at the end, these are actually all going to be um, evaluated by big five companies. So you're actually getting actual practitioners to come in to give you advice. And then uh, the best part about this is you can also get opportunity to be employed by them. Yeah, so there's a lot of all these student development program that we have existing for students that exclusively for Sunway Test, you can't find this elsewhere, I promise you. And over here, really, because uh, we have been running um, all these programs for the past 27 years. So we are also very proud to say that we have a very close relationship with the big five companies in Malaysia as well. So if you do have any desire to be working in any of these accounting firm, uh, some way we also have um, assistance to actually help the student to get the placement in any of these big five companies as well. Because we are really very close with them and they are also very satisfied with our students. Um, like our students, um, how would I say, when, when they work with them, la, they actually, we do get very good feedback about our students' uh, efforts and then their work with them. 
That's why for the whole 27 years, we are still remain maintaining our very strong bond with them. So if you do want to get employed with them, you know, you stand a higher chance if you graduate from Sunway. Yeah. So um, this is my contact and uh, Mr. Lee's contact. Okay, so if you do have, you know, any, any more uh, things you want to find out about or if you want to register after this, you can actually contact either Mr. Lee or me. Okay, you can make an appointment with us to walk in to register for the program. And uh, for those special scholarship ones, if you still want to register on this weekend, we are actually uh, open today until 4 p.m. or tomorrow also from 10 to 4 p.m. If you want, you can walk in with your results and then we'll just do the application for you. All right. Um, does anyone have any questions? Yeah, anyone have questions? Don't be shy, don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, anyone have any questions? Uh, please do ask. Okay, this would be the best time. Mm, so, best time. Uh, yeah, so Jean, just now Jean was uh, sharing was very motivating, right? See, this is one of our Sunway lecturers. She's actually one of our Sunway lecturers. Mm -hmm. And you can see how, how good our lecturers is. La. So when you come in, we have more lecturers like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's why we get our lecturers here to actually talk to you. Okay, when you attend um, different subjects, we have different lecturers. And most of them um, are just, just like, uh, like Jean, qualified and very vibrant young lecturers mm, yeah. okay, and very experienced lecturers. So as so I can see our past rates and uh, the quality that uh, we train our students and then how, like what Evelyn said, like um, how the employer actually like our students. So this is um, some way, this is our, this is uh, the way how we run our programs. And this is how your lecturers will look like. Interesting, right? <laughs> Okay, I um, think today is actually Saturday. We actually, uh, there's, if there's no more questions, we don't want to take um, too much of your time. Okay. Um, so, last word, still so like the same word. Um, do register with us. Okay, for those of you who already um, uh, apply for a special scholarship, do register before the April um, 12th. Um, that will be the last day for you to actually um, take up the scholarships. Um, you can just pay some 100 first. Um, let's say if you plan to go into July and take just pay some 100 and then register for July to execute the scholarships. Okay, and if you want to come in in April, our classes will be starting um, on Monday. So do come in, come in on Monday and then uh, uh, to register or, or you can actually register online. Later on, probably we will send you the um, uh, information how to go about doing it online. You don't have to purposely come to me. And our classes is actually running on hybrid teaching. Um, you can choose to come in to attend face-to-face -face classes or uh, online, okay? If you choose to do it fully online, uh, you can do that as well. Um, our classes um, are able to run fully online, okay? Online is actually not pre-recorded. It's actually live sessions that you'll see your lecturers actually teaching right in front. Uh, instead of physically in the classroom, you will be watching, you'll be attending your class through your computer, okay? So, um. I think probably we just wrap up, lah, Evelyn. Mm, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much also for joining us this morning. So uh, once again, if you do want to um, walk in or you want to contact us, uh, our I've already typed my my number in the chat. Okay. So please save it or you take a screenshot. Please contact us. Okay. Or if you want to walk in, you can look for me, Evelyn, or Mister Lee. Okay, at the Sunway Test Office. So when you come to Sunway College, okay, uh, you look for the Sunway TES office, okay, we are to the right side of the uh, ground floor for you. Uh, if you can just drop by, you can go to the counter, you can ask for me or Mr. Lee will come up and assist you. Lah. Mm. Yep. Mm. I also put in my number, um, mm. you can either WhatsApp, uh, send message to Evelyn or send message to myself, yep. okay, if you need more information. Okay, so um, that's it, I think. Yeah. So, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so yeah, much for thank coming. Thank you very much for joining us today as well. Yeah, so we thank you so much. Session. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Kayao. Okay, thank you. Take care. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.